All right, my fellow Americans, it's your boy Zadok. We're here once again. Uh, new season, new look. Last year this time, I had all my hair. Woke up a couple days ago, all my hair fell off. So here we go. We in our little garden again. We're in the beginning of the growing season. Actually, today is May 2nd. It's a Sunday. Um, and what we got here is today, we're gonna plant a couple of fruit trees. I think we're gonna plant a plum tree, uh, might be like a pear tree, a peach tree, something like that, I forget, but they over here by the fence. So basically, once again, we on camera, just uh, basically exploiting the little idea that I explained to y'all some time ago, where, you know, getting a little plot of land, experimenting on it with different plants, different herbs, and now we, do, we even bring a fruit to the area, it's gonna give us the ability to, on a small scale, uh, be able to know what it is to plant, take care of, how to weed, how to deal with the soil, how to keep something growing, and even in life, just like in life, if you have some failures at some things that you do, you wanna do it on a small scale, so that if you get the opportunity to do it on a much bigger and grander scale, uh, you will basically have advantage by experience. Now, once again, you already know, in this little plot, we get we get down with the strawberries, uh, broccoli, what else? Um, what else we did up in here? Tomatoes, um, I think we did onions, uh, lettuce, uh, what else we had last year? Uh, I, think, I think it was some cabbage back here. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, like the little green peppers and stuff like that and it's all organic and so think for those of y'all who like to have a better diet you know you find out about the diet and the difference between organic inorganic gmos franken food all that stuff now you go to the store tell the truth how much do an organic pear or organic bushel of cherries or an organic uh, 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 peach cost you you could pay a dollar or two dollars for one peach for one peach, where if you actually get your own tree planted, then you have skipped the middleman. And now all it costs you is some work and some dedication in a season or some seasons in the case of trees for it to grow, start to produce. Now these is baby trees. This right here in particular is um, a cherry tree. And we have another one back here. Now, when in about four years, when these trees blossom and you can actually eat off of them, now we are producing cherries and it produces itself. Now, once you play your part, play, do your part. It's just like salvation. You know, you have to do the repentance. You have to show works that are meat of repentance. But once you do that, God, if he finds favor with you, now he takes over and there's things that you can't do. We plant the tree, take care of the tree for a few years, and then once it gets of age where the fruit is ripe, it does its own thing every year. As long as the Most High provide the for, the, uh, the early and the latter rain for it during the growing season, all we got to do is come and pick off of it and eat its fruit. That's the beautiful thing. But we got to wait for about a good four years. So today, we got, these were actually planted at the end of last growing season. Today, me, got my nephew, got my son with me. That was his beautiful self. I think he was in the beginning of the shot over here. We're going to go over here along the fence line, and we're going to plant three trees. And we're going to show y'all some basics that we have learned in planting trees. The sisters got out here a couple weeks ago and started the process, getting some weeds out. They planted some things here in the, um, in the raised bed portion that y'all saw last year. Strawberries is about to start back here in these three rows. And y'all already know how them strawberries taste because I, I showed y'all some of that before. But so, look, we're going to get into it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And just for the record, remember I told y'all about, you know, this was an attempt at us just trying to be faithful in what it is we were we wanted to do and asking the most how to bless us to get that land we wanted. Well, this is a year later, and that land that I was talking to y'all about, the most high has brought that land into our hand. But we are still people who live in the inner city, most of us, so we still do our garden every year <clears throat> but if I'm not mistaken um 
if not this, no, not this year, I believe after next year's growing season, which will be the sixth year that we've been out here growing, that, that year after, we won't be back here growing anything because we're going to let the land keep a Sabbath. You know, remember that law, the land Sabbath law? You grow six years and every and that seventh year that comes, you let the land rest, let it grow naturally of itself and do what it do. So we're going to actually, God willing, we're in the right frame of mind, we're going to let the land have its Sabbath. And when the land have its Sabbath, we get to come back that following year, it'll even be more rich and it'll even produce more for us. But now, on top of this, outside the city, somewhere unbeknownst to the public, we have almost 40 acres of land that we purchased. And right now, our prayers is that the Most High helps us maintain that. Y'all be seeing some video footage on that real soon because we're going to take the cameras out to the land. We're going to walk it. We're going to show y'all what's going out on the land. You know what I'm saying? But it actually has brought itself forth. So through faith and perseverance and patience, the Most High brings forth the desire of a righteous man's heart. The scriptures say, we imagine our way, we direct our steps. So we're going to get into the growing, all right? see what I'm doing here. Alright. Now, for y'all on camera, here we have, this is a baby plum tree. This tree is probably a couple years old, two, three years at the most. In two, three years, that's what this get. But once again, in that ground, God willing, it's going to actually turn into, it's going to grow even much bigger, much faster over the next four years. Now, you see this root? 
this root bottom you see how it's kind of going circ it's kind of going circular 